Hey, it's me, Paper President Barack Obama. You like my new look? See, my shirt is pink, and my tie is black, and my shoes is blue. I look awesome like that, people. Now, sadly, as I have told you in my last video, that this is this video right now is going to be the last video that I do informational stuff on for government, high school government. I'm going to miss you guys. I'll admit that very much. I'm going to miss you guys like crazy. A few, a few videos ago, we did one on how the president is elected. This time we're going further into the process, and we're going into the... We're going to have to go through the entire, entire process. Going from primaries to inauguration. I know, it's going to be a pretty freaking sweet. So first of all, each party holds primary contests in each state. These elections may either be prime... They're either known as primaries, where people vote by secret ballot, or caucuses. People meet in, pub in a public room and, and stand in a designated area to show their support for a candidate. The results of these contests determine the allocation of delegates from the st that state. Some caucus states have regional delegates that then select the state-level delegates. These delegates are pledged to a particular candidate, and the Democratic Party also has super delegates who are high-ranking party leaders and elected officials who can choose to support any candidate they want. After the primary contest, the party then holds a conven convention at which time the delegates vote until a presidential nominee and vice presidential do nominee is determined. A candidate needs a majority of that party's delegates to be nominated. The Republicans have just over 2,000 delegates, while the Democrats, which is me, have somewhere around 4,500. That's over double what they have. Republicans suck! Once the nominee is chosen, he or she then campaigns against the other party's nominees, and the winner is chosen by electoral vote on a Tuesday in November. The national election is hold, held on the same day in every state, and each state is appointed by population a certain number of electoral college members who generally vote for whoever won the most the popular vote in their state. Each state and the District of Columbia has between three and fifty five electors. Each elector then signs a certificate of vote and send it to the sitting vice president's office, which means the current one, like, for example, uh, yeah, never mind. Okay, after about a month, uh, about a month after e the election, there's a special session of Congress, and they declare the winner of the presidential election. Normally, one of the candidates concedes the night of or the day of, of the election. So declaring the winner is simply a formality. Then, in January, a president and vice president are sworn in and inaugurated. See, isn't that awesome? It rocked your socks, didn't it? Well, I'm going to miss you guys a lot. I hope you enjoy these movies. Maybe... When the creator's in college, she'll use me again. I hope I learn for a second term so I don't have to be thrown out and be replaced by another person. Made out of paper. PAPER! Or we could always vote Mega Man. WATCH MEGA MAN! Bye.